check this out guys i just woke up at five took a shower got out the shower it's 5 22. i checked my merch by amazon dashboard someone bought 33 uh t-shirts in one order for 14 bucks <laughs> that's pretty cool to wake up to that okay so it is saturday today 10 30. i actually woke up early did some uploading at my house and like i usually do on the weekends go down to mcdonald's like i showed you the other day did some more uploading there i'm up to like 170 or 169 uh, uploaded for today um but it's 10 30 now and i'm about to go break my fast uh, i've been fasting for about 16 hours um but today or this saturday like i said and every saturday is uh, a family day so we're gonna take the family you know, usually out to eat, to the mall, to uh, the beach or something like that. So I'm gonna take you along for the ride. Sorry about the noise from the cars. Um, and it's also cheat day, so I get to cheat on my diet and that's why I'm walking right now. Oh. Too noisy. I'm going to my favorite place to eat, which is this taco uh, shop. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I post a lot of photos of this place or the tacos that I eat so I'm gonna take you there and show you what it looks like okay so I just got my food and these are the three tacos that I got now they sell birria here which is basically a stew uh, beef beef and stew you can get it in tacos like this and I got one of each there's three um, so I have the gladita which is just a soft shell uh, medium and then a hard shell I think they're both kind of hard but anyways it's all good um, you can either get beef or goat um, I chose the beef and I also like to get this what's called a consomme it's broth I like to pour it on top and I got this nice drink right here it's a fruit drink called guayabano something like that um, it's just really sweet some type of tropical food they got a lot of good tropical fruits down here in Mexico so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this it's probably my favorite thing to eat in all of Puerto Vallarta, Mexico so looking forward to it. When you eat down here, people always say buen provecho. That's like kind of like bon appetit. It's very uh, customer traditional to say that. So buen provecho. I'm going to eat this and see you in a little bit. So I just got done eating and for those three tacos, the broth and the drink, it was only 100 pesos plus I left 20 peso tip, which is about six, seven bucks depending on the exchange rate. But now I'm here at the stadium. I just want to show you the view of the mountains in the background see how nice it is uh, but that's one of the nice things about living here in Puerto Vallarta it's great weather um, pretty much year-round I mean it's always hot but this time of year is the best from you know about I would say December to about April it's just uh, you know beautiful there's barely any clouds in the sky um, and it's like 80 degrees so it's just really nice it's one of the things I really like about living down here it's great weather so it is 11 15 I just want to do a quick little sales update for merch by Amazon I'm sitting now at 40 sales for the day and $21 in royalties. It's because I had that big sale early on in the morning. Um, and we're going to see that I've done 169 uploads for the day. So that's where I'm at so far at 11.15. Okay, so I'm walking over to my girlfriend's house now. She just called me. The plan for today is that we are going to the beach. The beach that we go to is on the south side of the bay. It's beautiful. I think you guys are really gonna like it, so uh, stay tuned. Hey Max, where are we going today? ¿A dónde vamos? A la playa! All right, let's do it. Okay, so this is the beach right here that we like to go to, that we always go to. It's called Punta Negra because there's a river right to the right here that is called uh, Rio Negro, the Negra. Um, yeah, we're gonna walk down these stairs. That's the only bad part, bad part about this beach is you have to walk down these really sketchy stairs. So here you can see the stairs are super sketchy. But just gotta watch where you're walking. Don't be drunk and you'll get down there fine. Here comes Mama and Maddox coming down the stairs. You guys ready for the beach? Yeah. 
All right. And then you got this really sketchy bridge right here, handmade. Uh, let's see if we can make it. All right, and here we are. Show you what it's like. How nice it is. Wow. Well, the waves are kind of strong today. Alright, so I'm about waist deep in the water right now. We got some big waves coming. Yeah, it doesn't really get too much better than this. Whoa. Uh, usually the waves aren't as big, usually it's a little calmer, but maybe it's this time of year or something. But yeah, nice day at the beach. Are you having fun on the beach? Yeah! What's the playa? The <laughs> is getting lit up by the waves. <laughs> Bad eye. Watch out for the waves! So one of the cool things about this beach is that they have these little fish shacks where you can buy like ceviche, grilled fish, that's what sell like beer and uh, Coca-Cola. Hola amigo, me da una coca? Mira no. So I don't know if you guys have ever had Coca-Cola in Mexico, but there's a big difference between Coca-Cola in Mexico than the Coca-Cola in the States. And when you get one in Mexico, uh, these glass bottles on the beach, it just tastes really good. Most of you guys will pretty much already know this if you've been on merch for a while, but if you're new on merch or if you're thinking about getting started on merch, obviously one of the benefits is that it gives you a lot of free time where you can just kind of do what you want when you want. You know, because you have basically money coming in throughout the day, you don't have to do the work, right? you have to do the initial setup, you know, get the designs up, but once they're up, then basically the internet is just doing the work for you. You can come to the beach, spend time with your family, go to the gym, just kind of do the things that you like and spend time with the people who you want. So. If you haven't gotten on merch yet or if you're just starting you know uh, just keep grinding and you know you can get that free time that you've been hoping for so one of the things i love to buy when we come to this beach are these shrimp on a stick Nice for shrimp, you get some nice mucho sauce on it, you put some lime on it, and you're good to go. Mm. With the shell and all. Very good. So another guilty pleasure that I have when I come to this beach is buying these ice cream sandwiches. This guy right here, he, he's trucking that cart around this whole beach, pretty much the whole day selling these ice cream sandwiches and popsicles but these are real good 40 pesos which is like two dollars 250 something like that so i'm gonna enjoy this it's this probably the last thing i make because i'm starting to eat a little too much than i should be and it's all kind of crap food okay so we just got back from the beach and i'm back home in my apartment you can see it's 5 34 p.m i just want to do a quick sales update so while i was at the beach i think the last video i showed you when i did a sales update i was at 40 so i'm at 57 sales now for the day putting me at $40. I still have the same amount of uploads. I don't think I'll do any more uploads for today. I just want to do a quick sales update, let you know, because this is actually a lot of sales. Royalties aren't the best, but still 40 bucks is 40 bucks. Um, so yeah, so right now I'm going to go to a coffee shop and do some work and I'll keep you posted. So this right here is one of my favorite coffee shops to come and work at. The reason why I like it so much is because they got really good internet, it's quiet, they got good food, and they have a really nice co-work space upstairs. If we can't hear the music, I'll go ahead and show you what it's like. But if you're a digital nomad in uh, Puerto Vallarta, you definitely want to check this place out. So right now I'm just working on some Etsy stuff at the cafe, and I just want to show you the workspace at this uh, co-work cafe. So this is the upstairs part right here. There's no one here. I got it all to myself. You see it looks uh, very nice, nice and quiet. And then let me go ahead and just show you real quick what the cafe part looks like <clears throat> downstairs. Let's see if we can see it. So right here you're going to be able to see, that's the coffee shop down there where they make the food and the coffee. I just had a sandwich 
and a uh, drink. I wanted to show it to you, but you're not allowed to eat up here, so that's why I had to go downstairs. And I didn't want to record down there because I might get a co copyright strike from YouTube. So um, this is what the co work space looks like. And since we're at it, I might as well just show you some merch by Amazon stuff because sales are starting to come in. I'm up to 61 sales. This one right here has sold. If I just turn the brightness up, you can see it. Sold 35 times today. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, so I'm at 61 sales and it is 629. Just had my last meal and my coffee. This does have sugar in it and some little cookies. So this will be the last thing I'll eat. I can't eat anything past uh, seven o'clock if I want to continue with my intermittent fasting. So that's where I'm at right now and I'll keep you posted later. All right, so I'm just walking back home from the coffee shop. I figured I'd show you guys the girls softball game that's going on. Oh, she roped that one. Oh, nice catch. I actually live right behind home plate there, so just a couple minutes away from home. I used to play a lot of sports. I was in this league here, the guys league, basketball league, flag football league. I used to run marathons, but as I got older, I just couldn't really keep up. I'm 42 now. So now basically I just go to the gym and do a lot of walking. So it is 9.49 p.m. in the evening. I just wanna do a quick little sales update before I go to bed. Since I wake up at 5 a.m. pretty much every morning, I like to start to get ready to go to bed right around 10 o'clock. But right now we're gonna see that I've done 65 sales and $71 in royalties. My actually, my royalties came back and the reason why is because I had this big sale right here. Let me see if I can zoom in. So I sold this one right here with my scrollers, the arrows, I sold three and made $25. That's because this listing right here is an evergreen niche and I have it priced at $24.99. I get a lot of people that are asking me about like, how come I have so many sales but my royalties are so low? And that is understandable because I have been getting a lot of sales and royalties haven't really been up to what you would usually get if you're selling them for like, you know, five bucks a pop. Um, but the reason why is because the majority of my sales are 2024 designs and I have those priced at like $13.99, $14.99. And the reason why I have them priced so low is I'm just waiting for them to get a review because once, once they get a review, then it will be, uh, they will convert more, they will sell more, they will do better with ads. So I'm just waiting for them to get some sales, then I'll, or I'm just waiting for them to get some reviews and then I'll bump the price up to probably around like $17.99, maybe even $19.99. And as always, right before I like to go to bed, I like to fill out my habit tracker for January. So let's go ahead, let's see, wake up at 5 a.m. Yes, we did that, or I did that. Hit the gym, no, I did not hit the gym today. Um, was not able to make it, but no big deal, I went five days straight. Um, I did do fasting for 16 hours, so we can cross that one off. Uh, sugar, yeah, I did have sugar. You guys see, saw me picking out today. I did have processed food, so not my best day. Did not play basketball. I did stay sober, so no drinking, no drugs, nothing like that. I'm about to pray right now after I finish recording this. And today I did not meditate or journal. So like I said, not my best day, but here's how my month is looking so far with my uh, daily habit trackers. Okay, so that is it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you like these vlog videos I've been doing, also make sure to comment and just let me know what you guys think, what you want to see. Like I mentioned in the first vlog that I did, I'm actually having a lot of fun making these type of videos. Um, but yeah, so just let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.